Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am going to be taking you behind the scenes for my first ever photo shoot for my new brand, Space Camp. In this video, I'm going to take you guys behind the scenes for the photos and beginning promotion filming for my entire brand that's just hitting the internet today. So, this is Frosted mint. For me, this one tastes exactly like mint chocolate chip ice cream, which is a plus. Me, Matt, and Chris are huge fans. So that was a selling point for this one. We're doing like a basics pack. Whenever you see a lip balm, it looks exactly like these. So there's a cherry, there's a mint, and then watermelon's kind of the fun out of the box one for this drop, which is super exciting. But this one is also wonderful. Super excited. It's just being obsessed with making sure that my lips are not chapped. It's always been like my biggest pet peeve. Um, and what would bother me the most in my day-to-day -day life is having chapped lips. So making sure I had a solution to that. And then also just making sure I had a creative outlet. I have so many ideas, but I don't have like a clothing brand. I don't have like, I, I felt like I didn't have an outlet to express a lot of my creativity. So this was something I loved that I thought I could put a lot of my creativity behind so that people could see the vision that I have for myself. So I'm gonna keep this today, Nick. I'm just gonna walk around with it, Nick. If you're not paying attention, I'm yeah, gonna go yeah. sneak up behind you. Like that. I need Red Bull, 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 I need Red Bull. <laughs> Talk about a free ad. I know. <laughs> you're chanting the brand name. I'm super, I need to. <laughs> Stop. I told Nick I'm gonna carry this around today, and if he's like from who's Jack? one. If, no, yes. Like, dude, take a guess. He goes, who's, who's Jack? The director. Uh, so, director. <laughs> yeah. right. I've never done something like this. Like I don't know what to do. I'm awkward. Like Memo asked me, he's like, talk about the lip balms. I have nothing to say. I don't know what to say, okay. guys. I'm brain dead. But I should have something to say. So okay. it's not a bad question. That's not a good. I just have something to say. But let's go take a look at the first set. Let me show you guys. So for the announcement, I had an idea of like a briefcase, cause you know, briefcases are fun. And SpongeBob jazz music. But this is the initial setup. Everything matches which is my creative decision, but I'm a little scared because everything's the exact same color. And then we have these vintage looking mics, a stool. So I'm basically using this to make a teaser video and an announcement of what I'm doing. The teaser video is just so that you guys all get put into a state of panic the second that you see it. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, then it's then from there, it's it's game on. I'm like terrified, guys. I've been working on this for a long time, and to do something to like act on it is terrifying. But so we're here. the creative process behind the flavors that I'm dropping in this first drop, which are wild cherry, frosted mint, and juicy watermelon, um, was the watermelon one was my pick of like a fun new one because there's not a lot of watermelon ones. I thought that. Um, like that's the funnest out of the three, but cherry and mint are staples. So since it's my first drop and I'm just introducing you guys to the brand for the first time, we decided to go, or I decided to go with cherry and mint. So that way it's like the standard staples in lip balm products. What shoes is going with this fit? I'm not sure. Socks. I was about to say that. I agree. Alright. I like untying shoes. I'm gonna see if I can get this one. <laughs> untie it. You got it. I don't think I can do it. Yeah, no, you, you don't understand how little oh, my foot is actually. I thought you were way, you thought we had way more. No. Not even close. <laughs> I kind of. I would have done I like it. The, other, the other ones. Which ones? These ones? No, no. To the right. The other dogs. Uh, I am a big fan. Obviously, up to you. Those ones just honestly don't fit me. So it's like if we're if we're debating between the two, I'm gonna wear these ones because these ones fit me. Those ones are a slightly bigger. Big fan of those though. Thanks, Matt. Of course. Gail has your waffle clothing. Like he creates. Gail? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying they were here and Gil has them. That's, that's, what, I that's, what, I yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I was like, is he saying his name wrong or is there actually a Gail? No, his name's Gail. He's a like diamond driver as well. That's, that's awesome. good news. <laughs> I thought they were here already. No. All right, I'm gonna get your hopes up. It's okay. Place those pussies up, dude. I will. Go ahead, tie them. Yeah, Matt, good. can you? You gotta yeah, also. Sure. You have on. to pull your sleeves up. Come over here, Matt. Look. Like that. Yeah. I was a stylist in my house life, so people gotta be judging. Yeah. All righty. Hey. Come on. I'm not putting my foot up there. That's a good idea. 
I'm not... like a nice chair. Nice. Nice one. Wow, Nick. Soak this moment in. Matt tie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you Matt mean? Matt tie in your shoe. Why is this a moment to soak in? Now say tie the other one and put it in front of him. <laughs> Mm hmm. Probably the other one. <laughs> right. yeah. I have no balance. Come here. That was not a high five. That <laughs> drop. <laughs> <laughs> Stay still, Chris. Nice. Thanks, Matt. I told Nick if he was a hand model today, I'm $50 an hour. Mm. Yeah, he's giving me his rates for hand modeling. $50 an hour. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Chris, I need you to. Wait, your uh, shirt's uneven now. I don't care. <laughs> my favorite part about shooting today was doing something I had never done. I love taking photos, and I've always, my entire life, loved taking photos of other people and hated being in the forefront of the camera. But throughout my years of becoming a content creator and not a photographer, it's been a really wild experience, and I started to get photos taken of me and today was the most professional it's ever been. So it was like a really out of the box for my comfort situation, but I think that those are always helpful scenarios to get yourself into, and I loved it. Nick, Thank you. you. Oh wow, you're a vlog. <laughs> I'm <like memo> running at <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel, no, just I feel me. good, Chris. It's just me behind the camera. No, I'm like the scariest human being ever. Like, they're like, smile, I'm like. <laughs> you're like just showing them the demon look. I just like, it's so difficult for me to like smile unless I'm laughing. Yeah. Like if I'm smiling, I feel like I look terrified. See, I can, I can make you laugh that whole time. I just didn't want to like- No, it was ruin. super helpful. No, because by the first video, I was feeling like, you know when you like can't stop laughing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like holding my breath back there. Yeah. Okay, you're good, Chris. I know. Matt, look how big this camera is. Oh, though. Matt, that was so Whoa. Cool. Okay, we filmed the first video shoot, which is awkward. Chris kept making me laugh. But also like the press conference idea, having Matt and Chris was the most helpful thing ever because I had to pretend like I was answering questions and I can't pretend. And I just found out when I was with the other models that I have like this immediate look of anger on my face constantly. I always look aggravated. So it was really fun, you know, not looking terrified or annoyed about everything. But the next photos, I don't know what it is. They're taking product shots now. I think uh, Cherry is next, which is fun. I'm scared to do everything and I'm scared to touch everything. I don't want to ruin things. So I'm living in fear today, but I'm getting things done. It's great. I really enjoyed shooting it all, but I would say that um, the watermelon that we had, it's not watermelon season, so it wasn't the best thing I've ever had. And also the cherry cake was just heavy as shit. So it was difficult to like not drop it or fall over. Anytime I was holding a cake, I wasn't the happiest, but it was super fun. I came up with my brand name. A lot of people are going to think that when I said good morning campers on our podcast every single week. Good morning campers, welcome back to the Cut the Camera podcast. Good morning campers, welcome back to the... Good morning campers, welcome back. Good morning campers, welcome back to the Cut the Camera that, podcast. That was me teasing my brand, but it was only me teasing my brand about like, I wanna say a month in. So I was working on my lip balm and it was nameless. I just had a lot of creative vision. Um, a lot of it was outer space themed and a lot of the brand vision was things like outer space comics, movies from outer space. It's like one of my favorite vibes. And then camping is just something that is, or, or being a camper or something is a way to like include everybody. Like everyone can be a camper in the world of my brand. A lot of my brand inspiration was about space. So space camp came to be from that. Nick. How much mint chocolate chip ice cream are you gonna eat today? A concerning amount. <laughs> High levels. High levels of mint action. When you're talking about the cherry flavor, is it more of like a seed cherry or a seedless cherry for ice cream? Yeah. Which one would you, would you tell them? It's more I like... I need to sniff it again. What? What? You I'd say have, seedless, you have to know that like awesome. sweet, fun. Oh, you know, good answer. The good, the good, the good words. The good cherry. <laughs> All right. Thank so you. Long. Here, Chris, let's go put... What? I don't know why I'm saying let's, because I am the only one who has to do it, but I was going to say, let's go get into the first outfit, but you're not changing your clothes. I'll just... Oh, my God! You're like, how do you hit me and expect to not be hit? That one was crazy, Yeah, you hit me on a ribstick. Like, obviously, you're going to get five. 
I need to drink a Red Bull. I need to drink a Red Bull. You should make a brisk iced tea flavor just for me. I want a custom one. You don't get that. Why? I don't have contact at brisk. <laughs> Once they hit me up, maybe. I don't know brisk. I don't know who brisk is. Stop. Go put your outfit on. I couldn't do shit with him around. I just bring yes. the spirit. I make the set alive. I bring the fire to these people. A double dash or something? No worries. <laughs> Alright, dude. Alright. Calm down. I seek defense. Calm down. I'd say my favorite flavor to shoot today was mint because it was the only flavor I shot alongside one of the models and the models that I had with me today were wonderful and super super nice and since they model they obviously are doing this all the time and I had never done it so it was super fun to have someone with me in the experience. I really enjoyed mint. I love mint stuff. I got to eat it. It was the best tasting thing there as well so that was probably the best part of that experience. Like Update. Yeah. Did the mint one. Took a bunch of photos. Super fun. Um, I'm excited to see the photos. I feel like my face is red. I need to act, that's what I was gonna do. Nice. I have lotion I wanted to put on my face. Translucent powder if you want. I was gonna use this. So this I think will make my face not as bright red. But photos are looking good. Mint one is done. We have two more to go. Super excited about it. And I'm changing into the watermelon, watermelon fit right now. Thank you guys for watching. That's been the behind the scenes of my first ever photo shoot, which obviously there's many more to come. So go shop Space Camp in the link in my description and from the link on the screen. And also grab your products from the link down below and stay tuned for my YouTube channel. We'll be posting a whole lot more on here, hopefully. And I'm going to have a whole lot more photo shoots and drops in the future. So stay in tune and I'll see you all later, skaters. Bye. Yes. <laughs>